is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So Urban Decay sent me three of their very new lip bonds. I actually did not expect to receive these because uh, when they launched it, I saw that it was just like this huge campaign. All the giant influencers got it. And usually in that case, I don't receive the items because they've just spent all their time and energy on these like big influencers, which I totally understand. So I am actually so pleasantly surprised that they sent me these. So I figured let's do a little swatch test and choose one to wear throughout the day because it does claim a 16 hour wear, which just makes me freaked out that it's gonna make my lips super dry. So let's try it together. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is so shiny and it just feels so luxurious. Sorry, I feel like I have rabbit hair everywhere. I'm in the living room and they are just like shedding. Oh, I didn't clean up their little blanket bridge. So they hate going on the laminate flooring. So we like laid down blankets to go into that other room for them to hop across. But anyway, it's nap time for them and they are napping even though I'm being super loud. Anyway, let's swatch these. So I'm just shaking them all up. It does say to shake for a solid five seconds before you use it. That is like is what it says on the little info sheet that they gave me. It does sound like a nail polish bottle when you shake it. Okay, so it's got a standard kind of doe foot that sort of looks like a paddle. So this is the shade Solo Player. And it actually is pretty accurate to the box, I feel like. It's quite purple. Well, I guess it's a little more purple on the swatch than the box. The box makes me feel like it would be a little more pink than that, but it is a gorgeous pastel purple that I will not be wear testing today. I do not want to walk around all day with that particular color. And this one is Safe Word. I'm really hoping that this is actually the color that I wear today. It is so gorgeous. And then this last one is Once Strangers, and it is supposed to be like a darker, like Bordeaux, almost brown color. Oh my gosh. That vampy color just looks like, <clears throat> sorry, it would be so great for like a dramatic look if I had just like a smoky eye or something. So yeah, that is the swatches. You can definitely see them glisten in the sun. I'm filming this on my phone. So sorry, like I feel like I keep looking at the screen, but I'm definitely, I think gonna try that middle color safe word for the wear test today. It also applied super smooth, like pulling it out, just the amount on that doe foot was enough for this application. It was not streaky and I didn't have to go over it like, you know, tons of times. So it is on, I'm just leaning in so you can kind of see the texture. It says to wait for it to set. It doesn't say how long to wait for it to set, but I'm just gonna, ooh, okay, it's turning a little tacky, okay. It's not really changing anymore, so I think it has basically set. I'm just gonna check in with you throughout the day to see if this has changed at all. It's not too bad in settling into my lip lines, but my lips are also really dry right now, so I understand if it does. So it has been one hour. I just ate a Portuguese egg tart. They're so flaky and so buttery, and to my surprise, nothing has budged so far. So promising, we will keep checking in. So it's been about six hours now. I had some drunken noodles for lunch, so some Thai food. It was quite greasy again. And then about a half an hour ago, I had a large cup of bubble tea. I feel like this is like turning into a food diary here. But this is no reapplication, six hours of wear. You can see that it is wearing on the inner half of my lower lip and it has sunk in quite deep into my lip lines. I feel like I have chronically dry lips. And so this happens a lot with anything that doesn't label as like creamy or souffle or anything like that. Normally when a lip product starts looking like this on my lips, I do either reapply or just take it off altogether. So I'm gonna cut my wear test short here. It is completely transfer proof, so that is good. Although it is still a little tacky on my lips and has been all day. I would say that if you don't have chronically dry lips, this would probably work a lot better for you. That being said, I loved how opaque it was and it swiped on super creamy. And I really, really like this color. Thank you so much for watching and thank you Urban Decay for sending this over. That is it for my review today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!